wow, the interest rate is going down. So this is a good opportunity for you as a buyer or who wants to buy a property right now. How about the seller? I don't forget you, all right? What is going on guys? It's RJ Bautista, Incredible Realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to show you how to achieve your real estate goal this 2023. If you are, yes you, if you're watching this, if you are planning to buy a property or even sell your property this 2023 or your goal about real estate, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm going to give you some tips and golden nuggets how to achieve those. But before wow. I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and also smash yeah. that like button for me if you found this value and helpful and also share this video as well to your family and friends you know sharing is caring so without further ado let's jump into it so first thing I want to talk about here if you are planning to buy a property first right to all buyers out there if you want to achieve your dream home this 2023 number one what you need to do is to connect with your real estate agent or your local real estate agent or a realtor <coughs> So once you found a realtor or local realtor or real estate agent in the area where you want to buy a property and then you need to start writing your goals you need to have like step by step okay buying a property or purchasing a property is not just like purchasing a food in a grocery store no 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 that's completely different okay we have some step and procedure that you need to follow because if you don't follow that procedure or if you don't have a proper guidance that you need to follow step by step you won't achieve your goal as fast as you wanted to okay so this is my first recommendation if you found a local realtor or local real estate agent that who could help you what this real estate agent do is they will write down what your goals or what your property that you want to to buy or want to purchase okay for example if you want to purchase a single family house if you want to purchase like a townhouse if you want to purchase a condo if you want to purchase like a, an investment properties so this real estate agent they will get all the information that you need or you want to buy a property okay so once he get this property what he will do or what I will do as a real estate agent or a realtor for you as my client what I will do or what we will do is we will give you a lender okay? Okay, each realtor or real estate agent, they know at least a lender that they will recommend you. Okay, but I'm not saying like every single realtor has a lender. Okay, I have like a lender too. I have like few options of lender that I could give you which is fit for you. Okay, because sometimes lender they have like different specialties. Okay, some of them like they are like focusing on VA loans. Some lender they are focusing on FHA loans. Some lender are focusing on conventional loan. But you know, all of them are lenders you know no matter what you do no matter how you feel or confident to the lender you can use them but it's all up to you which one you're gonna use it's either the one that we are recommending or the one that you are already have one okay because if you don't have a lender what will happen is to your real estate goal especially if you are going to buy a property or you're going to get a loan you will need a lender okay if you don't know any lender or if you don't know about lending you know feel free to reach out to me I could help Help you give you some you know option for lender for you to choose which will be fit for your needs okay so that's the second one that you need to think about it you know get a real estate agent get a lender and then once you get a lender what the lender does they will run your record they will run your credit score they will run how much money do you earn they will run like how much money that you own or your debt and also they will run how much money that they could loan you okay for example if you're a first-time home buyer they will run Run your credit for first-time home buyer or conventional loan whatever fits you and then once you got this information the pre-approval letter what they will do the lender they will send me the pre-approval letter so that we are pre-approved to get the amount of the property that we are looking for all right this is a very very huge step before finding a property you need to get a pre-approval first because you don't know how much money or how much loan that you can afford without the pre-approval letter if you think you can 
can afford to buy a 500,000 house and then your pre-approval letter is only saying you can only afford for 400,000 house how would you able to buy the property if your pre-approval is only 400,000 all right and then you are excited to buy the property and then your pre-approval saying no 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 you cannot afford that one so you know all your hope all your expectation will be lost so highly suggest to get a pre-approval first and then know your number once you know your number talk to your real estate agent like me or the realtor that who will help you and then find the property that you're looking for does it make sense wow. right so once you found your real estate agent once you found your lender and then what you need to do is now shop the house shop the property that you like all right if you want to shop a property for your primary home or for your investment then you can do it because you know how much money that you can afford to buy you know your budget you are not doing like over budget or under budget you know you know the price range that you're looking for and then from then if you have the price range you can narrow down which one would you like to get if you want to get a single family home you want to get townhouse you want to get a condo or you can get like manufactured home etc okay there's a lot of kind of properties out here in florida where you can purchase but in that case the realtor or real estate agent that is our job to give you some option what are available in the market as well okay then when you choose a property what will happen me as a real estate agent is either you want to buy a new construction or a resale house or a used house what we will do is we will make an offer uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so once you make an offer, what will happen next is we will submit this offer to the listing agent or to the one that who's selling the house. And then once the offer has been accepted, this is they called you are under contract because the letter that you sent, that was the offer letter or agreement letter that you want to buy the property. And then once the agreement letter has been accepted by the seller, you will be under contract. I hope that makes sense. If you're confused, let me know. I will explain more so that's that second thing that you need to do so once you get under contract it takes about 35 days to 90 days to close the property what do you mean by close the property this is like when they giving you the deeds of the property to you with the seller and then you will sign how much money that you will pay the seller you know or the owner of the property and then you will get the deed and then this is where you're gonna go or you're gonna do in the title company okay inside the title company so for example this is you as a buyer and this is the seller and the title company is here in the middle and you two will meet in there and then once you meet in there you will sign the contract that this is the money that you will pay this is money that you need to you own this is the money you pay for HOA etc okay so that's how it goes right now so once you get that and then boom you got your real estate goal this 2023 wow. and a bonus one my lender which is helping my clients he sent me a letter or a text message saying like this is a good news for all buyers the interest rate just dropped again for the fifth week of this time if you're watching this video right now today is about december 2022 and it's gonna be the fifth week they dropped the interest rate right now yes you believe me yes that's true and i couldn't believe either because he sent me this news personally i thought like the interest rate is going up 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 and when he sent me this like two days ago i was shocked like wow the interest rate is going down so this is a good opportunity for you as a buyer or who wants to buy a property right now how about the seller i don't forget you all right so if you are selling the property or if you want to sell your property right now it's good to sell as well every time it's good to sell or buy a property but make sure that if you are selling a property i very recommend like when you're selling a property make sure you have enough equity before you sell a property don't sell your property for let's say you bought the property today and then after three four five months you want to sell it that won't work right now because it's the buyer's market Market. so it means like the buyer's favors no one's buying right now unless if you have a property and then you have like at least 100,000 200,000 or 300,000 equity in your property and then you've been in the property like for 10 15 20 years in the property and then you are comfortable enough to sell your property and then sell it and then you will get a good chunk of equity on that one and then you can use that money for your next property does it make sense wow. I will talk about more about selling property but right now I just want to let you know about if you want to buy a property right now is the good time to 
buy a property. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you like this video. I know I'm talking too much, but if you watch my video until this end, comment down below real estate goal so that I could see how many people who watch this video until this end. And I really, really appreciate your time watching my video. And I know I'm talking too much, so I'm out for today. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. So sellers, I know I don't forget you. But I forget what I'm going to say, so it's like I'm going to fuck.